Hey, welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude, and this is the Redivis RT98, a radio that was sent to me by Redivis, and they didn't ask for a review. I am going to do an overview of this radio and point out a couple things and features about this radio in case you're interested in this. So it's a $54 radio at the time of recording direct from Redivis or a little bit more money on Amazon.com. As I mentioned, this is a single band mobile radio. This is a UHF model, but VHF is also available, PMR446 and Freenet. You're going to notice a nice little sticker on the top of the radio with a cool little FCC ID. You'll see that on the box too, but I'm not going to show you the box. Uh, and I assure you that's all smoke and mirrors. This radio, as far as I could tell, does not appear to be FCC certified. On the front of the radio, you'll have a microphone, a port, but the microphone port doesn't actually come out. Okay, it's kind of statically set in there. And uh, the microphone itself is kind of cheap. But I will tell you that the button on the side for push to talk is nice and smooth. And on the top, we have channel up and channel down. If you hold them both together, uh, this will transmit the radio. It's kind of weird, but yeah, it does. On the back of the radio, we have an SO239 port for our antenna. And uh, we have a nice little, you guessed it, power cord with an inline fuse. On the front of the radio, we have a few buttons. We have a rotary knob, which is our volume control. And if you press it in, it'll turn on the radio. And you'll see that beautiful display. So here we have four buttons on the bottom, and the, there's we know this isn't an amateur radio because there's a fun button, and we all know there's no fun in amateur radio, um, or that's the function button you call. And then we have a VFO memory button, but again, there's no uh, VFO on here. This is memory channel only. You could use change the channels on the microphone itself, but not on here. And uh, if you go over to VFO, really all it's doing is it's showing you the frequency of the channel you're on. So there's that, and then we have a scan button, which will scan, you guessed it, the channels you put in. By the way, this holds up to 200, excuse me, 199 memory channels. And uh, other than that, we have a squelch button. Okay, so what's inside a function? Well, this is where you could actually change your power levels. As I mentioned, there should be a maximum output of up to 15 watts. We're going to test that here real quick by going to power, and right now we're on low power. Low power is supposed to be 5 watts, mid power is supposed to be 10 watts, and then high power about 15 watts. So here is low power again, 3.73 watts on the national calling frequency. If we hold down function, we go over to power, press that, bring it up to mid, oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here we are in mid power, and we're at about 8.67 watts. And then if we do the whole thing again, because they can't make it easy, uh, let's see here, high power, and... We're at about, uh, it says 15.31 watts. Take that as it is, but uh, it is a new meter, so I would hope that it was working okay. But while we're in here, why don't we just go ahead and go through the menu options? So we're going to hit that fun button, and uh, if we hold it down, we're going to get 19 menu options total. So there we are at zero. It's SPK. And hey, I got to tell you about this SPK thing. I emailed Redivis, and I'm like, nowhere in your manual does it say anything about SPK. And they go, I think you meant SKP, and they gave me an introduction that it's about the signaling and the squelch, but um, I double-checked to make sure that, and to me, that looks like SPK. So there are options in here that are maybe a little mislabeled, but I, re I reached out to Redivis, and they were able to clarify things. So there's a couple more things. I'm not going to tell you what each every one of these do, but again, there is a manual. While I'm going through here, though, I do want to make a note that this V slash M button VFO memory it's not really a VFO. Like you can't hit it and type in a frequency. Uh, it is more of a display thing. So there's those menu options. And uh, and again, like I think I feel like I should be able to change the channel with this volume button, but you can't. So anyway, that just basically changes it to a, a frequency mode or a, a channel name mode, if you will. I do want to mention a few more things, though, while I have this radio on. And yeah, you'll notice GMRS on there because, uh, well, I was testing the radio Hub, I never transmitted, of course, you know, that's that would be wrong or whatever. But uh, I do want to mention that the radio appears to be unlocked. If you don't like that, though, uh, I really don't care. Don't put it in my comments. But just email Redivis and tell them it's horrible or contact the FCC if you wish. I, I, I do what you want. But uh, anyway, the other two options on here are scan and squelch. And I feel like we both know what those do. On the bottom of the radio, if you go to Amazon's website, it'll tell you that this is a fan right here. When in reality, this is a speaker. Yeah, this is actually uh, 
kind of puts out noise, like when you're hearing people on a repeater <laughs> and uh, it doesn't uh, blow air into or out of the actual radio itself. The radio does get warm after a few hours of being on, but uh, never has overheated yet. In a nutshell, that's all that this radio is. I will mention one more thing here on the back of the radio. You have room for an external speaker, which is also where you would put your programming cable because you're going to want a programming cable to actually program this radio. It does work and it is compatible with Chirp uh, and that made it really easy to program. So again, this radio is a UHF radio. It's unlocked and uh, it does 15 watts as it shows. So that was kind of nice. Hey, the only other thing I can think of is, well, three things, actually. Uh, number one, the radio has narrow band capability, mid band capability, and wide band capability. Uh, the radio is modifiable for APRS, uh, beaconing at least. And I'll leave a website below that you can follow that. Additionally, below there is an Amazon affiliate link. Hey, if you're interested in this radio, click it because damn if it doesn't help me and, and I need the help. <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys, for watching. The other thing you could do if you don't want to buy anything is... Just do me a favor and hit like and subscribe. That really helps me out too, believe it or not. So uh, anyway, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was a quick one, and I'm sure you liked that and appreciated it. Take care, 73.